Hello everybody and welcome to Quantum Conundrum, uh, a very awesome puzzle game that uh, plays a lot like Portal, minus portals, and you play instead with dimensions. So we're going to start a new game here, and they're going to give us a bit of an intro, so I'm just going to not talk for a while and let this... Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Bacon dimension has to be real. I want to believe. I can figure the transdimensional. Believe in bacon dimension. Oh, you're here? I have the most incredible invention to show you this visit. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. All right. So the story is that we're a kid, and our eccentric uncles, and I guess he's crazy smart as well, uh, in his mansion. And I guess right now we're just going to go find him. If you take your luggage so... into the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. So we're going to take our luggage into the foyer so that he can join oh, us. You confounded machine. Ugh. What was that? Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Alright, so I guess this is our uncle right here wearing stylish 3D glasses and sporting an excellent uh, lab coat. That doesn't look very... It looks more like a fashion statement than safety precautions. So, I guess... Uh, we're gonna have to hit this button up here, so oh, I'm just gonna that, that be a safety put down door. that down right there. And we're just gonna. Oh no no no! I guess this no, is no, no, the fire. No 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 no! Ah! Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh! What's going on? Ah! Hey! You broke my luggage. Ah! Oh man. Wait. What just happened? I can't see I'm anything. Not no, wait. Entirely sure where I am right now. The security uplink on my watch is I can sort of so I can No, I can't go there. And... Hello, you, you you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. No. I refuse to conform to your expectations. Ah, if Kill you the patriarchy. Wait. You just ignore that. I'm protesting. Testing, 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 testing. There. Oh, ha, much better. No. Yeah, he just said, what "Screw you, the." I didn't do anything. He didn't care. Today, no matter. Well, judging from the he already underwhelming said to come over here. Room, we're still on backup power. What do you mean, girl? Me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Do uh, me and yourself a favor. Minor case of amnesia, then. There's a way to restart the power grid. All right, is the front? No, oh, no. This looks more promising. All right, front hall. Last I remember, I was in the new technology. Suits of armor. And then, I don't know. I do think the failsafe was. What kind of weapon is that? Unfortunately, the front it? door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. I don't know. They're all bent differently. That's weird. I'll take a lamp with me just to be safe. Open up. Oh. I guess it's a loading screen. My frames just dropped. If you head over to my office over on the left, and my you lamp go. To restart the manor's power grid. Quadrangle again. With blue bunny guy. Alright. 
to the left, he said? Yeah, where the light is. Um, Throw that switch there. It should be the one. No. Nope. Oh, the switch. <laughs> Alright, switch. Well, that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just uh, take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now. As I am. I hate to be that guy, but this is not a box. It's more like a blender. It has a blender shape. What it's almost a cylinder, but it's an early tapers off. Of the interdimensional ship device. So I'll take it out of the blender. For short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> if Shut you can quadro. access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I knock, suppose knock. you should start there first. Alright, so this is the blue wing, apparently, because of the blue paint. Because it actually lets me go somewhere, so. There's something I must blue wing. My latest invention has required me to make a few... Yeah, you know, the pictures in this game are hilarious. The last time you barged in. So I'm we've got a visited. super long wiener dog. And, uh... Angel... Anglefish? I don't... I don't know my fish very well. It's, it's a fish on a plate. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying Doors open. For we'll continue to the rich, Hall of Wonders. Between various dimensions. Uh, I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough. I'm not even paying attention to Quadrangle. All right, so I guess we go through. Yeah, we go through dimensions and stuff. And oh, these are the two inventions <laughs> from the intro scene: the um, jetpack and the little ice shooty thing. You never know when you need a base. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. All right, so with you the glove, have control we... over the ability to switch dimensions. Yes, just be patient. Okay, so eventually this the glove will let us one of my go to different dimensions. Periodic, oh. articulating. The space is intangible. Or oh, bird. Drinking bird. Drinking bird. Exactly. It's far more advanced. It's far more advanced. Of course. So, wait, why does the the face goes through this? Right? That's weird. I've never noticed that before. Does it go through this one? No. Don't need you anymore. Button. Cool. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a so majestic in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance it can be from a receptacle in order to function. <laughs> I like this cat. Mm. Mm. All right, moving on. <laughs> oh. Shift in perspective. Button. I love to push. This buttons. is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Oh, this tube. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions. Which in this case is fluffy dimension. In fluffy. fluffy being embarrassing. Adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. <laughs> so the portraits when you go into another dimension the pictures change. So we're gonna look out for those pictures. Um so Fluffy makes things ten times lighter, so I can pick this up now. And once it goes away I can't lift it anymore, so that's excellent to any that. Um, I guess it's no. And it also turns Plates blue for some reason. Don't know what the deal with that is. Though that looks like a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity connection. Yeah, so well we need to turn there if rather, you place a heavy that on, that. on it, it should generate enough power to open the door. Alright, so those are the switches of this game. And we power it via putting stuff on them. I guess so. There's We're gonna set this guy up. Again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. 
<laughs> Desmond, we're gonna put it up for Desmond. That's an awesome name. Something to note. So that he can. If you're holding a version of the idea device, you ah, the yes. are not the you in an alternate dimension. Let me try that again. I'm not you mean. remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Alright, so what he's saying is when we go into fluffy dimension, it doesn't make me ten times lighter. So I'm still the you same person. That IBS battery I guess. The receptacle mounted on the wall. This guy? Alright. That receptacle oh. will distribute the power source around LeBron the James. You can now use your I think he plays basketball. I don't know. Not a sports fan. <laughs> this is... Wait. Oh, so I can... Oh, now I get to do it. I don't need Desmond anymore. I'm an independent woman who don't need no man. Who don't need no Desmond. As Even I though he's a sexy dimension oh. rifts in the manner are magnified by the I lost my energy from the IDS receptacle dimension. batteries. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. All right. So ah, that's Dolly, dynamic object Hello, Dolly. ligation interface. Oh, that's cool. To you, <laughs> cloning device. I like my house just so. Cloning device. So I decided to add functionality. It's too many books, Dolly. You don't need that many. What did they? Ow! Oh, I'll need to tune that later. Ow, Dolly. Why would you? You know what? Do you like things being thrown at you? Do you like it? Yeah, let's make it heavier. I said, do you like it? No, you don't even care. Alright, um... Excellent. And then wait. Wait. What is this? Is this a... I don't think it's urine. I think it's... This fluid, so that's... Just going to ignore it. Going to ignore it. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, These are my own particular hybrid beams uh, of carbon dioxide and neodymium. All right, so Dolly's just spitting. Using an alternate. You're wasting Dolly. Think of the African children. They need this food that you're destroying. All right, so. These are lasers, and I'm pretty sure they kill you if you get close to them. So I'm not going to get close to them. Uh, I imagine that this switch here has to turn them off, so I'm going to turn that switch on. And there's a fish here. <laughs> Fuzzy dies. That's cool. Uh, I wonder what this guy does. He turns into an oven mint with some sort of condiments? Like salt shakers or something? <laughs> Alright. We're just gonna chuck this across, I think. Yep. Wow, perfect landing. Good job. Uh, we're just gonna stroll through this door. Mm -hmm. You can't stop me. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. So, I need to get over there. I don't think I can walk on... No. I need to get to the other side, and then... Okay, so... Uh, okay, I know what to do. We're gonna put it in a fluffy dimension first, and then we're gonna do it, and... Ah, just that... letting you know that you reset the glass. Yeah. So now we can walk across, and then if we... Oh. I didn't think that one through. Alright, one more time. <sighs> so we said to the fluffy dimension, it resets the glass and it spits it out. And then when we we just drill across. There we are. And make sure that's over it. Oh, there we are. Then we break the glass in it. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Thanks for watching part one of my Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. If you enjoyed it, uh, it would be great if you could subscribe or comment or like or send me a PM or whatever. Just let me know. Uh, I'll try to make one daily. Uh, I say that tentatively because I'm about to go off to college and we'll see what happens there. I also do streaming, uh, a lot of multiplayer games, so TF2, Dota 2, Guild Wars 2, a bunch of other stuff. So if streaming's more your speed, I uh, would love it if you came and check that out. Uh, until then, I'll see you later.